<laughs> See, I ain't even with the drama no more. I've been raising a black kid for six years, Danny, and I ain't even with his mama no more. You think, you think he cares? You think he cares what color I am? When I'm the one who puts the food on the table, clothes on his back? Exactly. Watch your mouth, bitch. Know how to act, because now my son is his half-brother. So act up, because any attempt to G-check me going to be lackluster. My pops died when I was five, and he was 35. And sometimes my mind's blurry, but now I'm 34 with a four-year-old, so I'm worried. Yeah. So go ahead and let all the racist lines flurry, mm -hmm. but think twice before using one. Because you worry about losing to a white boy. I'm worried about him losing one. Confusing, huh? Just talk to him for a minute. Hey, just talk to him for a minute. I hear everything you saying, but let's discuss something that's apparent. Hitman Holler, cold killer. But Gerard Fulton grew up with both parents. Now I'm not, no, time out. Now I'm not knocking having both parents, but your situation wasn't the worst. Like, everything mommy ain't have on the 15th, daddy could cover on the first. He probably taught you that five step drop back and that spiral almost amazingly. I taught myself you gotta ease off that trigger slow, let that ham up simultaneously. He probably taught you about the birds and the bees, chlamydia clapping all about crabs. Man, them niggas was out the window with the bird throwing up bees, clapping, calling out crabs. You was at practice, shooting. If you miss, you do suicides. Them niggas came through shooting, that was our practice. If we miss, that was suicide. Every time I feel some type of way about my hood, these family niggas be reminding me. See, we both real niggas, but you a different kind than me. Math, English, lunch, you was on a different time than me. I pull up, gym, I pull out, trigonometry. You had X squared over Y, trying to find the remainder and then add up. I'm asking my ex, why you asking me about numbers? I'm trying to bag up. Your father probably bought your mother coat, all your sports gear and your brother, and your brother boots. No football, these gloves wasn't for baseball, this face mask was for other use. Your mother was at the game, cardboard colors, fresh signs. My mother was in pain. You want to speak to the inmate, press nine. You get off the court. Good game, good game, good game, good game. You get off the court, woo! Daddy right there, congratulations, you did it. I won't say I'm jealous, but me and mommy had to wait the Wednesday to kick it. I know you won't get it shit, I get flashbacks when I spit it, but Wednesday and Thursday, that was a signed visits. I just, they don't need to respond. I just feel like, I just feel like Big Gerald, John Witherspoon, and you Craig, what you doing with that Glock? I mean, back on the west side, they had guns. We had these to rock, I admit. If I was in his position, I probably would have stopped. We got so much in common, both protected by them pops. The moral of this story, all that fucking school, and you ain't learned shit. Put him in my hood one time, boy, and you'll turn bitch. If you say you was wrestling in the streets, you a stone cold stunner. You was home with your mother. Watching wrestling, rock, raw, China, SmackDown. We was in the trap house, raw, rock, China getting SmackDown. <laughs> Jersey. My homie told me, no way Fonzie's a believer. But really, man, I hope he's wrong, because we all have struggles. It's just possibly coping wrong. He probably has a lack of direction. So he don't know which road he on, see? I can't tell if he's blind or not. Like Brock on Pokemon, well. I can't tell if he's blind or not. Like Brock on Pokemon, well. I'm not gonna force the way. I only tell you why I follow it. Why I get on stage in this fashion is to model it now. Y'all gonna say I'm doing an angle on my hollow tip, but my point of view of guns changed. When at a young age, I saw my dad get shot point blank range with a hollow tip now. For those of y'all that know guns, Knows what that'll do to victims. It goes in the size of a dime, but it spreads like a rumor. Listen, when they put a hole in the side like Christ after the crucifixion, he was supposed to die. But it's a miracle and a proof he's living now. I'm probably casting my pearls before a swine. If so, then it's a bore to listen. Well, I also see it from a different vantage. My boy JT got shot and died. 
And they're like, you're a Christian? What, you gonna walk up to the killer like you're forgiven? Well, I'm working on that. But JT, trusted in the cross. So think of Stacy. Despite all the bad that happened on the wood, Whoa. he still ended up with a secure position. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So I'm in them school halls. Cause I done seen a coffin. I could look at the loss and just give up, but there's a better option. I've been talking to these youngins in the hood that grew up on a graphic block. Think they need to join a game. Cause they never had a pop, so they bang. Little kids getting raised with traumatic plot. Man, I done seen so many bang babies, it would leave static shock. But that's what they learn. When it gets bad, pop trunk and start. Blaming the rifles, but when it gets bad, I pop trunk and start. Handing out My rifles. There we go. But the system is against us, so it's not what the people want. The block screaming, I can't breathe. So they keep a pump, but I'm like a bear in hibernation. I tell them I don't need to dump, cause the trunk stay with the sword like Vegeta's son. Now, whoa! Now, 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 Loso and I are very different. And no, we're not trying to rebrand Saga. But to think that y'all messing with the kids, like Bam Bottle, well, ooh! I said, now, Loso, oh yeah, just last week. Now, Loso and I are very different. We're not trying to rebrand Saga, but to think that y'all messing with the kids, like Bam Bada, well it's a lot of Christian rappers and you gotta respect it because the message getting heard, like what killed Mufasa and his street. You know who the boss be? Not me. But look both ways before you cross me. What up, pussy? <laughs> me and you got a whole lot to talk about. So which path showing up? Boy, I hope it's the one with a whole lot of mouth. Cause if it is, security ain't gonna have a chance to walk you out. But to prove I'm smarter than I look, I'm gonna use the art of war to chalk you out. Everybody, I turned 30 this year. My name, Marvin O'Neill. I've been rapping 10 plus. I blew two major deals. I never knew my father, I was raised by my mother. Oldest of three boys, I got two little brothers. One's 21 and he's always on some slick shit. My other little brother is 16 and autistic. That means his mind works a little slower, but his heart's all pure. So half of every dollar that I make goes to finding the cure. Real shit, Pat. I rap to give him a new life. If anybody jeopardizes that, I am willing to do life. So don't get flagged for some foul shit you say tonight, because I will put you in the stars for trying to earn new strikes. Pat's problem is not him holding his liquor. It's black American battle rappers homing this nigga. Ooh. So all that fight live shit, I found out it's all rap. I saw it with all four of my eyes. So my words is all fact. Cause when me and Pest was dancing, the nigga was rah rah and all that, till I walked up on him. Then he decided to fall back. Uh. Come on, Pat, you had reach. You should have dropped my ass or something. That'd have been a good look. You'd have been king of the dots mad for something. <laughs> and me sending Pat like this is not a diss. So let me break down why I'm one of the main reasons that Pat stay exists. You see, my career is much more than a win or a loss. Because when people say my name, they mention me as a boss. And it's not because of the strike and resemblance to Ricky Ross. It's because I helped build the bridge you using to get across. Wow. I was one of the first that made it cool to have humor and bar. So any success you ever see, just know you doing Mars. Because of proof, I'm a monster. With truth and some honor, you part-time. I run the dark side, Luke. I'm your father. It was so many things I could have called you, Pat. Face it. I could have called you the world's worst best friend or Canada's premier undercover racist. <laughs> see, that shit you said about Jeff and your raps about them tats on his back had me wondering, how could you possibly have known all that? I mean, you made it sound like fact. Like there was no inference. Then I realized best friends usually do have similar interests. So, the shit that you say, it was all whack, son. When I know the apple don't fall too far from the tree that you secretly want to hang the blacks from. I found out Pat hate black people. But not for reasons you'd assume. It's not really a shocker. It won't surprise so many people in this room. But if he had his way, it wouldn't be a darkie to be found. Because then, Pat Stay 
would be the coolest nigger in town. <laughs> See, I used to have love for you, Pat, but you took it too far. I tell you to be yourself, but you obviously don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> you Clayton Bigsby ass nigga, disrespecting your own race. Pat, if your nose was on fire, I wouldn't spit in your face. Wow. No, yes, I would. I take that back. I'll, 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 it's crazy, my mom's like, every time the news saying the crime's ISIS, cause Damn. back home, young bodies still laying with eyes lifeless, bloods and crips still warm, right? Still playing who's nines nicest? Kids choose red guns, blue guns, without playing time crisis, and we live in life like this. And we live in life like this. On the corner cooking Betty Crock pies in the street where every nigga got a Fetty Wap eye, and I'm knowing you're blocked tough, but does it truly got us? I was raised with the cops that told to shoot niggas first and not cuff all my niggas so hard headed. Those scared tactics did not trust. I know niggas on scared straight. Still ended up on locked up, nigga. The police got us boxed up. What's the squad? But our time gon' come. Cause trust is in the niggas' jeans to even give the 501. I don't take pride in no gun. Let's go! I don't take pride in no gun. But I know the danger of a lack of it. I'm trying to make sure my mama's straight. Trust a nigga got that covered. I'm trying to boss a black business. So these bricks, I make a stack of it. The goal is to sign the front of the checks. Right. Not the back of it. My nigga oh, got crack covered. Let's go. My nigga got crack covered. And he ain't involved with you dancers. Back when he had the toy, my nigga was really looking at the eight ball for the answers. And I could chew through the fabric. Oh, that was funny. And I could chew through the fabric Baby. of any crew you imagine. Kelly, you nice sometimes, but you choke when it matters. So we don't know if you So we don't know if you are great. So we don't know if you are great. Or you just a fluke in some matches, cause you lot as a beard. Nigga, you only come through in patches. Oh my, God! my nigga got caught with a pound on state lines. So while he glorifying his life, I'm busy trying to downplay mine. Say it about damn time that I addressed that recycle shit. I told you I don't do personals and battle rap, my nigga. You ain't got time to write your shit. Mm. Time out, my nigga. Correct me if I'm wrong. You went through the window of a high-speed deadly crash that you said God saved you to relay your message and fulfill your purpose. Question. If right after that you recycled bullshit bar for the fans through the lack of creativity, what the fuck makes you think you deserved it? <laughs> and I shouldn't even begin to speak. In a competition that the whole squad I shouldn't even begin to speak. Things. Look at your phone, nigga. It was part of the shit. Look at your phone. <laughs> Remember your round, nigga. Uh, Remember your round, nigga. Uh. <laughs> and I shouldn't even begin to speak. Because I can give you ten hot rounds within a week, and the only thing I bring from my last battle is that same winning streak. Nigga, you don't rap tough. You don't rap tough. If you don't got rounds backed up, you see Diesel? This time you will die in front of that Mack truck, nigga. I was with you. I was really concerned for your life as a friend. Hoping you just got scratched up. Facebook messaged your girl. She said that you went through the window. Doc's got him wrapped up. And I thought about all your gun lines. How you always sprain and clap up. And when it matters the most, you never had the tendency to strap up. God oh, damn it. Oh, and God damn it feel good. You see my enemies leaving. Fourth world. Two words, nigga. Kennedy season. <laughs> Fuck all this rapping about. Thank you. Fuck this battle, yo. Let's scrap this shit out. <laughs> I bet all that tough talk get cut short when you get jabbed in your mouth. See, everything you spit thus far was shitty. <laughs> you a waste of a son. You that nut that should have been bust on some titties. <laughs> Operation decapitation. Let's stick to the game plan. Since you like playing games with words, today we play hangman. Yeah. 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 I will fuck you up. <laughs> and share with Khan all the gory details. Mm -hmm. To send him a message, I'll put you in box. No emails. Stop the tracks. Uh -huh. The train of thought gets derailed. Yeah. Make you run and tell everybody how I shit it. Nigga, you easy. I ring your bell and break your jaw in front of your family. Turn your baby mother to my love slave and make her act out my fantasies. Get on my last man standing shit and pull them toys out. Run up on his son's camp and trip. But this ain't Boy Scouts. True story. Bad blood event, 
Day one, Joker mask. I came to stretch the uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. oh, mode. In creep mode, ask Pebo. He almost bled for you. Yeah. Carn and Fox threw you under the bus. I guess they figured why I rescue you. <laughs> one said you were bipolar. The other said you were bisexual. <laughs> Fox took it a step further and called me. I guess he felt that all coming homicide. He said he didn't approve of Q's move, and for that he wanted to apologize. I said, what the fuck you telling me for, fam? Tell your man to get his weight up. And guess who the fuck called me about five minutes later? Who that? Nigga stuttering, crying. His voice cracked like a bitch. Hold on, some of y'all look lost. Let me back up a bit. A while back, him and DNA was going tip for tap. Words was exchanged, but no battle. To me, the whole shit was whack. A couple of diss tracks back and forth, and Cortez got involved. I was listening to one of the songs and got a call from my nigga Maul. Mm. He did a blog. Him, Pivo, Khan, some other dumbass niggas. Uh, hold on, hold on. My DNA, I'm lying. They were trying to play DNA, but call me a bum ass nigga. Wow. See, I don't know what's true. You got me fucked up, fam. I don't rock like that. <laughs> See, I'm from, you get popped on, you better pop right back. Oh, you know. And these road to riches, if a nigga try to block my path, get out his lane, I'm leaving his brain with a stop like that. Oh. Oh. Go ahead and spit some clever bars about your lock and sparking, but be real with him. Uh -huh. Tell him what happened when Tall T ran on you inside of talk. Tell him. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Tell him what happened when he stepped up to that half a crib. The, hey, the, the niggas tried to jump me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No. I heard he snuffed you in front of your children and you ran and left your kids. Oh. That's some sucker shit, nigga. Damn it. I said, this is your state. And I be feeling like the man when I'm walking through. Like the crowd ain't even biased. I don't even think they rock with you. You gonna punch all battle. This round I came to talk to you and ask you one thing, little nigga. Who is you talking to? <laughs> Slim said he wanted Arsenal. I said I hit him up because I rock with dude. Then he said he wanted Cortez. I said we in Australia right now, we can chop it too. Then he said he wanted real deal. I said he'll do it for the low. I just bought him bruise. My question is, my question is, this ain't even my region. Why Slim ain't calling you? See, I ain't come to rap with you, Stewie. I came to talk to you and ask you one thing, little nigga. Who is you talking to? Remember we had it out on Facebook? When you thought I was stealing shit for a rap quote? We went back and forth on like five or six of them whack posts. When it ended, you said you throwing fists when you catch Jones, and then I seen you in New York. You drop the brim on your hat low, then you approach me like, man, I got real beef in the streets and this isn't that, bro. So I made you part of my back, spit my shit and went back home. The truth is, I'm not motivated for you, Stewie. This shit is a fat no, because what's good is catching a body if it's missing a backbone? Facts, bro. <laughs> See, I ain't come to rap with you, Stewie. I came to talk to you and ask you one thing, little nigga. Who is you talking to? Your name's Stewie Newton. Like Huey Newton, the co-founder of the Black Panthers that kept our fight cooking when blacks was being disrespected and overlooked with our civil rights cooking, right? Well, he was out all night in the streets when our future wasn't bright looking. So what would Huey Newton think about you using his name and dating a white woman? I mean, you really using his name and... This the image that you put forth? It's like a slap in the face to everything he stood for. Because when it was black versus white every night, he was out fighting a good war, and this is how you disrespect his name, nigga? Good Lord! See, I ain't come to rap with you, Stewie. 
I came to talk to you and ask you one thing, little nigga. Who is you talking to? Now, when I heard about Draco, the images were sick. The pics were getting me mad. That was your man's. That showed me that your clique is written with trash, but you, but you tried to change the name of your clique. Little bait and switch. Like you ain't affiliated with that. Nah, nigga. You got him a PG. Knowing the shit he's spitting is gas. And now you spit to him in prison. And visit him with a pass. Answer the phone. You hand up with him, giving him that. Talking shit to get him to laugh. Now it's Shawn Michaels, Marty Janae. Went from the ring to kicking it through the glass, nigga. Oh, shit. Oh, you mad? Yeah. You feel like swinging? <laughs> nigga, please do, because I'm just stirring the pot. So tell me if it's beef stew. I seen dudes, I seen dudes say I ain't have the heart for Stewart. I'll put a part in Stewart. They'll have to part in Stewart. Two big rounds to his chest. Dolly part in Stewart. Nigga, it's curtains for your balls. I'm Martha Stewart. And I knew you was gonna talk about me biting. And that's the shit that be getting me vexed. But since you like talking about biting, fuck it. Let's just reenact the scene from American History X, boy. I'm the best. You might have battled dudes who sound like me, but you ain't never stood in front of three rounds like these. Boss town. You make the worst life decisions. For instance, why the fuck do you throw up every time you in front of a good crowd? Why do all your close battles turn into eight man? Your palms be sweaty, knees weak, arms be heavy, vomit on that sweater already. Charlie Spaghetti, he's nervous. <laughs> He nervous, but on the surface he look calm and ready to drop bombs, but it get Osama deadly. So when you say you a killer, I believe it, cause you show the world that you are a hitman, another nigga calling Earl. You make the worst life, not nah, fuck all that. Reading them tweets and them blogs became extremely upsetting. Y'all saying with DNA's intellect and K-Shine aggression, it can go either direction. Now either that was an insult to my intelligence, or y'all don't know the difference between a beast and a peasant. So being that we're using DNA, it's only right I take a scientific method and teach y'all a lesson. Give me a second. <laughs> Probably wonder why I bring all this to the center stage. Cause if y'all don't understand a human body, all you gotta do is break down DNA. You ain't got a tough joint connected to your fucking bones. You lost two X, that's why I see bitch when a chromosome. You a sperm cell, you a sperm cell from Charlie. But if he's the heart, that mean that blood that pump through your veins ain't thick enough to hold his own. So every time you spit, they bring organs to center stage. Cause y'all wanna understand a human body, all you gotta do is break down DNA. Wait. Now, let's get to these bars so y'all can feel this. If y'all not familiar with this, this is called the double helix. This is the same setup that this nigga used with his lyrics, but I'm gonna show you how to take this DNA with this DNA and compare it. You use one solid bar and try to make it a setup. Then use words that coincide to make it look better. Then end it with a wavy line so y'all think that he clever, but I don't know how you fucking y'all head up when it's just like this setup, a double helix. Two wavy lines with little bars in between that keep them together. If y'all wanna know why I bring all this to the center stage, if y'all understand a human body, all you gotta do is break down DNA. Now everyone's familiar with a cell is, right? We all know the human body was processed from this cell, sperm cell, which gave us life, right? Which is also DNA, but I don't think that's bright because ironically DNA has never been in a cell in his life. Have you ever seen a cell? Have you ever made a cell? Have you ever been in a cell? No. That's what leads us back to this chart. Because these are blood cells. They travel through your vein to get that little shit in your chest a spark. If you like these, if you like these, if you like these, that means you never had it beat from the start. So a cell is not an option. All your beats are for bars because DNA can never live in a cell if you ain't got no heart, nigga. If y'all want to know why I bring all this to the center stage, if y'all understand a human body, all you got to do is break down DNA. Now we're at and atom is the reason a human energy is possible. Two or more atoms together creates a molecule. All your energy comes from a nigga holding you down. So your energy is on top of you. Let's see where your energy go when them real clips is inside of you. So if y'all want to know why I bring all this to the center stage, if y'all understand a human body, all you got to do is break down. No, before I leave this segment, I'm going to leave a grade on how a human gets body. It's only right we give DNA. 
Now y'all see why I grabbed this shit? All right, now class dismissed. Now look, what Fab say? I wipe all my tears before I put on my gloves? Cause it hurt when you gotta kill a nigga you love? Well, I want you to know how I feel since I'm in that position. I feel like Nino Brown, nigga. Minus all of the snitching. G money, we could have been getting lump sums of bread. You let one of your bitches that I'm dicking fuck with your head. Now instead of getting work, you getting work. Getting fucked up instead. You mean to tell me that measly bitch creeping is the reason that whole operation dead? Instead of expressing your feelings, you give your dogs up to the fans? That's why when you say, am I my brother's keeper? I look you square in your eye, nigga. And say, yes, I am. And then you went to the head. Hey, Clutch, you can do this shit? Clips, Clips, you condone this shit? We were supposed to be like brothers. We made this car to look good. We was holding down each other. We let a nigga infiltrate. He ended up being undercover. Now, everybody going down. This shit bigger than Nino Brown. And consider, I never liked you anyway. Pretty motherfucker. Fight back, fight back. I said, this not a battle, man. This a war. I'm gonna need y'all to listen. Because I should have been mentioned this shit before. I said, I'm gonna explain my side on why the block came to an end like a Nintendo 64. Ooh. It's simple, cause every guy's for self. You hear him mentioning that boot shit? Man, it's like my career cried for help. <laughs> I couldn't even go to my own team for sympathy. Imagine how it felt. Even this nigga did a video dissing me, trying to fit in with everybody else. <laughs> I mean, what happened to being bad friend? <laughs> what happened to being for the team? I mean, what happened to being loyal, King? I ain't even have to stretch that out like one of Chilla Jones's schemes. I already know I'm dopamine, and I got a good feeling that he don't even know what being dopamine. I am very nice. <laughs> Matter of fact, we didn't have to recruit. I was the only one blackened in the group like Scary Spice. I'm a male. I'm a male B in a click full of bitches. I'm a male B in a click full of bitches. I had to embarrass you. Y'all remember Ill versus Rex? Goods and Hitman? How about Big Will and Shine? Well, fine. I had to use that when comparing us. Cause as far as real niggas on the block, it ain't nothing but one round us like Battle America. That's me, nigga. That's me, nigga. Do listen. It look like you do dishes in soup kitchens. <laughs> niggas claiming this thug life like they mocking Pac to get a chip like the foo schnickens. Oh. But don't try to backtrack now and suck up for what you do, pimpin'. Talking about my boots. Get drop kicked between your bottom and top lip. That'll give them a new vision of boot licking, nigga. You tripping. Being sick is only in your head. Hypochondriac. To me, you're nothing more than a follower and a copycat. I've been out to eat with this nigga several fucking times. <laughs> and we already know Dewan is fat. But what y'all may not know, is when his pop's lifeline went flat. Now when you got your pop, now when you got your, let me rap. Let me say, let me talk my shit. Let me talk my shit. We can go out back. We can go out back. If you feel some type of way, we'll go out back after this. Let's go, let's go. Now when you got the news about your pop's passing out in Pontiac, let's rewind to that time, in fact. By your side is where you can find me at. When you was out back, trying to get comforted by Mulatto Black, on my phone, a shoulder to cry, yo nigga, I provided that. Oh, and I ain't even want to say her name, my nigga. So I apologize for dropping that. I only did it to be authentic, so you can acknowledge that I was rhyming facts. And I don't give a fuck if this crowd reacts. I was just doing what a big bro's supposed to do, so I don't really need no props for that. So before, you go to say you battled the best, why don't you go to the nearest bank and deposit this reality check, nigga? We started at the same time, but we moved at a total different speed. And I know why. Because me and you are on total different leagues. See, 
When you fell rock, you couldn't make yourself pop, so you team hopped and turned dot just to keep yourself hot. When I fell, I ain't have to jump to a known two. I stood up on my own two and bounced back like I was supposed to. So you can talk about the losses and chokes that I rose through, but it's something about having your own brand that you don't understand. I'll coach you. See when, see when people hear rich dollars, the first thing they think is pop pull. When people hear Tay Rock, the first thing they think is dot mall. I built my own name. You ain't even fucking try. It's Mook Rex K venue. For me, that wouldn't fucking fly. You below the sun. And for you, that's fucking fine. So even when it's cloudy out, you still be under shine. Corny nigga, you will always be a lame here. You said that mall played out like Genesis, then you joined them. So what that makes you gain yeah. here? Yeah. That's why I never get his dude respect. Only the crew he rep. Cause I can tell who he wanna be out of Mook and Rex. Cause first round again shine, you screaming easy is what we saw. So I ain't gotta state where you from to know Mook is who you wanna be more. <laughs> See, you had many battles, but to me you still a rookie, nigga. And rock one question. How Rex gonna market you? He has the image of a pussy nigga. I'm nice nigga, I had to find the best. But you only winning cause you been getting help from Shine and Rex. Well, you won't win this one. Cause remember when I killed ill with words that got ill in front? I said ill claim to be ill they told Kim he the iller guy. That statement is illegible, ill's been ill at bars. I know that was some bomb shit. The seven months later, Rex battle conceded and did conflicts. He said I show with Con that ready for war like combat a couple of these to change his eye color like contact. Get that nigga Rex! And remember when I told Tech 9? And remember when I told Tech 9? I don't care if you blood, my homies rep the same shit. And they'll still put a 9 to 5, no day shit. The seven months later, Kayshawn said to surf, you had your piss stuffed in your boots, talking about you had that work tough. I give nine or five if they get a nigga worked up. So when I think about it, Smack gave me myself to beat. Cause when you think you getting help from them, you really getting help from me. <laughs> that think that I lack toes. I ain't gotta shoot, I send shooters to let that gun spray. I'm a boss like Ross, I ain't got a pill no more. My homie to show you gun play. You pussy and you not real, rap and you not ill. I'm amazing in a booth on the roof, I show you how to top fail. Stay on cue and you can pop when that black pill. Cause I don't care if we friends for that juice, you can get shot still. After this, y'all gonna say Rich the truth. Cause I just showed you how to kill a dot mob nigga without dissing move. Oh. I'm nice. you're, an, you're an American Muslim Arab, right? Let me ask you something that's simple, but so lethal. How does it feel to hold up a flag that's covered in the blood of your own people? Whoa. Listen, two million Muslims or Arabs killed by the US in 15 years Shit, who cares? You still rep the flag like Britney Spears? And listen, everyone here has seen the trailer. Put your pen aside. For views sake, you shit on your parents' genocide. You parasite, you parasite, apple pie eating pancake type. Yankee Daiko measures dick size in Fahrenheit. This guy had a battle in Berlin against a guy called Tiesta, who is both African and Russian. So he did the same old Racial shit instead of an intelligent discussion. Your African side says I miss Big Papa. Your Russian side says bring this vodka. Man, sh <laughs> Bro, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Your American side is battling me now in LA. 
at the same time as GIs blow your cousins away. While your Arabic side is turning your brothers to hate, raised on pics of Abu Ghraib and the Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, and I, and, and I, and I, and I'm not, and I'm, listen, I'm, I'm not paid by fucking Russia today, Mr. Vladimir and FSB for sounding this way. I don't like the Russian government, that's power play. But it was coward USA that taught them how to behave and bully states into appeasement. So fuck your home disaster. Fuck it's wrong as the world policeman, cause all cops are bastards. Fuck your, fuck your moral high ground of moron thugs. Fuck your war on terror and fuck your war on drugs. Remember Rome? Laughing at the kids killed by Breivik seven years ago? How American and brave of him. This the payback you want. Shark value to get famous, Suka? I'll turn up at your show like the Vegas shooter! Whoa! Yeah. Two years ago he challenged me to this insane fight. And this genius couldn't even say my name right. <laughs> Oxymoron, not oxymoron. I get fools destroyed. Man of the year, I waited in a queue to school this boy. Yeah. Look, he was a Trump supporter. More than that, his faithful minion. As soon as Eminem disses Trump, he changes opinion, his very story. I call this behavior whoring, listening to Alex Jones at night when you will sway in the morning. So what, so what is it? So what is it? You can't decide, pick a stable side. It's as if you reside in a swing state of mind. I bet you still, I bet you still love him, Trump. So don't be contrite. If he was Kendrick, he'll be like, we gonna be all trite. So listen, we seen you battle Hallow. You accuse him of making merch instead of music. That's confusing. You said you found him a booth, he could spit in it. And so I tried to find your tunes. You fucking hypocrite! I mean, look, look, I, I mentioned this before, but let me reuse it. Here's a real question, my bro. Where's your music? Bro, you have over a hundred battles and like three tracks. One's a diss, one's a feature, one solo. Real facts. What? I'm not even talking numbers of views. If we start comparing those, then boy, will somebody lose. I could brag about countries where I'm running the youth. Cause of my tracks, but fuck success. Where's the hunger in you? I know fame is just a mistress that comes and goes as she pleases, but Jesus, how can you live without getting rid of your feelings? And yes, this in battles, you clearly been a genius, but how can you ever be what a real complete MC is? Who's, who said these words? You need to put some more musical influence in your verse because we come from the cloth. We were hardcore lyricists at first. Exactly. So what happened to the song structure in the rhyme book? I guess it's only a cappella that he delivers the right hook. Cause I, you think I'm gonna use this platform just for battling? This ain't even my second language. I spit badly. Compared to Russian, this is nothing. But I stand there to talk about something larger than you rapped here, cause look, you are an American Arab, right? I'm a Russian Jew. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. This shit is fueling tensions. It doesn't look like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Cause in Hebron or in Beirut, we'd have some cruel intentions, but verbal feuds may have potential to cure this patient, the slowly dying Arab, Jewish, Russian, US relations. I mean, look, look, I'd rather every Arab told every Jew, your mother, and vice versa every day then let them shoot each other. Cause I have seen this with Ukraine and it fucks my brain how two nations that were brothers have been cucked and slain by the people above who still hanging out today as if nothing happens and only music numbs the pain. And I'm not saying battle rap is gonna change the world. And I'm sorry for being preachy instead of raping this girl, shitting on her, <laughs> spitting on her with my partners in crime. But I think battle rap could be more than just punchlines and rhymes. Time. Hey yo sir. Hey, yo, T. How come none of them niggas in them blogs come with you? Damn, you showed up, show heart. But we not about to see if you got some with you. Nigga, it'd have been smart, because you bought guns with you. But we ain't have to see your arsenal to know you ain't had that shotgun with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Ain't this so? I'm going to put T in the ground like a golf course. First off, that hand on your hip shit. Uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'ma put teeth in a bag like lifting. All right, let me help this nigga out, right? Cause this nigga trip. <laughs> <laughs> See, if I was you, I say if he talk any more shit, then I'ma put teeth in a bag. I bet he won't give me any lip then. Oh. Which reminds me, 
He battle X Factor. He said we have the K silent white knee. Nigga, I battle Hitman. I said he'll be like H in the middle of nowhere. This nigga wanna be just like me. But I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's say I take a word like unit and put you in it. Oh. That was just you and I, T. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Which reminds me, some other shit you do, surf. It's like when I really start to view surf, it's like none of this shit new surf. It's a whole bunch of brrrr, doop, doop. That ain't you, surf. <laughs> oh, oh, Lock pick his door. That's mine too, surf. Damn. Remember, you're going against Mr. Chilaka Boo, surf. Uh -huh. You know how much my Chilaka Boo's worth? Watch his soul, surf. <laughs> True hurt. And you why think nothing scary? Because you let Bill Collector say fuck Tookie. And he came back to New York and wasn't worry. Mm. Nigga, I'm from Chicago. I ain't GD, but if a nigga would have said fuck Larry, then the next day you might have found a motherfucker buried. Oh, oh shit. Nigga, how you let a nigga be disrespectful to Tookie? You stepping against a vet. You took disrespect from the rookie. Nigga, all surfing red. Them niggas is pussy. <laughs> These niggas from Jersey Shore bitches. Jenny, Sammy, and Snook. <laughs> I flew to Newark. What happened to all these Jersey wars? Bryce said Jersey force. That shit look like Jersey Shore. <laughs> what I heard before when I was hitting your thick horse, she told me that your shit was like this short. She said, mine's like six floors. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes sense why she'd rather ride mine's rather than yours. Because your name's Surf. Every time she rides, she gets bored. Oh! They say I'm scared of surf. I say Shit. surf who? They say sue surf. I say surf cool. What it do surf? Cause surf get you for what you worth because surf sue. Me verse sue. I will merc sue and rehearse sue. No rehearse sue. I will hurt sue. But it hurts to know that I wouldn't be the first two. Oh! 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 Nobody saw it. Ill body bag. DNA body bag. He was no longer wanted. Edge K shine, but X beat you. So your record like CDs with no features other than you. Ain't nobody on it. Damn. If you see a sign that said I won't shoot cause police here, ignore people. If anybody that came with surfing, they still breathing. Enjoy it, people. <laughs> you would think I was smuggling immigrants in across the border, people, the while I load up, sneak past security, and dump the foreign people. <laughs> if we warn people, I run up, blazing cans. Pants in your lug boots, you like the Southwood shuffle, I'ma make him dance. Lift my arm like I'm trying to raise his hand. Blaze his gut, hit him to sell me something came up. Like he had a change of plans. <laughs> I'm the man here. You won't make it where I'm from. I'm in the man here. You keep playing here. You can stand here. But see if you win here. If I start a fire, I'll make you camp here. If you don't want to get in with these hollows, then you better learn like the movie Hollow Man and stand clear. Mm. All in the drama pop. Lima pop till my arm is hot. Hit his mom as pops. Everyone in the way of harm gets shot. Enough in the charge to stop the clip. Everyone from the parking lot. And leave the scene hair clean cut like a barber shop. Yeah. Why? Now, who tweeted your slogan, nigga? Farrakhan bought your name up. But you was in that same project building in Harlem being the same Lux. You standing on my stage right now preaching the same stuff. Man, he said it. Andy Pettit couldn't teach him to change up. They said they want that gray sweatshirt loaded. They need Lux to be a boogie. But must I remind y'all, Trayvon died in that same gray hoodie. I know you, nigga. And brother polite been talking to you too politely. Fucking your mind up. You went from mean to this nigga beloved. I'm trying to find Lux. Not the preacher, not Rich Porter, or the Black Panther versus the Don Lux. I'm looking for that little cold hearted nigga that used to watch his stepdaddy fucking his mom up. Yeah, that's right. This nigga mother was a punching bag. And them nice daddy came home on that drunken swag. He was standing in the doorway already crying. Because he knew he was finna do something bad. He figured if he left you alone, you'll heal on your own. He treated you like a fucking scab. Now you had to watch your mother's side nigga beat her fucking ass like he your fucking dad. But that's the little nigga I need to address. Project your voice. Let it stream from your chest. Your baby motherfucking V12. And that's what's keeping you stressed. You treat life like a game of chess. But your queen keep being fresh. Honestly, King, that's why your opponents always keep you in check. Because of your mate. We, 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 we from the era when niggas had Nintendo beef. 
We was in those streets, supply disorders. You was with those creeps. Lions then, December of 08. Didn't you sniff those weeks? But when his nose bleeds, he get upset. Nigga, you picked those seats. All you did was learn the game of chess. Come on, son. All you did was learn the game of chess. Read some books, nigga, and flipped your speech. Extend those speech. You better be tougher than Kimbo Cheek. You won't get no sleep. We watched your career take off, go through the clouds, and then crash. I told you about those window seats. Man, listen. You see me out here trying to transition. You want to gram diss it. You throwing punches, but my shit's land different. You shooting, but my piece is hitting. Nigga, we scam different. You an important factor, but you never left your hood. You just a transmission. And you do this shit for the dead presidents, right? So let's talk dead presidents. The movie. I ain't talking money now. Your daddy was Anthony. Your mother like that bitch Juanita. She just kept on bringing Cuddy round. You thought your daddy was some fly nigga to that side nigga. Start throwing money round. And it's funny that it's like deja vu because your son ain't even... You know what it's funny how you don't post no pictures of that little motherfucker. And I find that to be a bad thing. So I did some research, and I found out your baby moms was in a fast lane. But you were so excited to be a father and do the dad thing that you overlooked the paternity test you fell. And you out here calling this little nigga your son, and he don't even got your last name. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about, boy? He's a bastard, nigga. He's a bastard. Hold up, I said you always talking about everybody else, Pops. But I ain't anybody else, Pop. When they thought he was addicted to smack, me. I was the nigga who helped rock. I was the lion in your den, nigga. I was leaving them shell shop. When your pockets came empty, nigga, I was helping your sales drop, nigga. I was the nigga who came up with the idea of hollow the dime versus loaded lux. I was the nigga who proofread your contract once they wrote it up. I was the nigga who started wildin' and then battle rap opened up. My blue collar freestyle was the only verse that woke him up. I let the llama spray. I let the llama spray. I pull up the way your mama stay, like Juanita, your son out here calling niggas handsome, bitch, that's kind of gay. <laughs> handsome? Why you talking? Look at him, emotional. Why you talking while I'm rapping? Look at him, emotional. Look at him, emotional. This what happen when you sit Hussein Fatal at 2 chains table. I'm a mortal in combat. They watching Luke Kane slay you. I'm you dog. Where you lead? None of your troops ain't able. Beloved, you was lying then. Now the truth can't save you. Why you but why you ain't never battle in a lion's den? If you was doing it for hip hop. We made your shit hot. Me, Ice, Goods, K-Shine, Clips, Rock. You only get mentioned in your era because you had a good team. Bitch, stop. But we was helping you win. So to a Kobe, you just Rick Fox. Fastest way to Harlem is the A, right? That's what you say, right? These theatrical performances you put on is why they pay, right? But, but, but you're copying all your antics off a of widow. That's how you play, right? Shit, nigga, you should have came dressed as a vampire. We all know you're afraid of daylight. Y'all want me to prove it? Let's talk facts. Don't be afraid to talk dirty, my nigga. I talk back. You should want to be a better father to your son, nigga. Look how Khaled handle a side now. The bitch raising your son got a felony. That's why his mother ain't got a job now. She got caught. Cause it was another nigga behind the wheel Cause his daddy ain't wanna drive down She bust the check, she was supposed to maneuver the V Bonnie and Clyde style What you gonna tell your son nigga? How his mother was robbing Peter to pay Paul? Or make up some all American story about how she competed and played ball Was Wheatus and Jay Tall succeeded and stayed hard? Or is you gonna tell him how you be that daylight and King Los All worship the same fraud? Is you gonna keep it real with him? Or say some shit to dismiss him so you ain't gotta deal with him? You ain't gonna be happy until a nigga like Kanan decide to chill with him. But, 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 but you trying to paint the large picture and prove cow pops with some loss, nigga. No, field nigga, house nigga, boss nigga, we all niggas. You just auctioning off your soul trying to sell it so you get on quicker. Brother Polite don't equal no guard, nigga. You said you used to battle off the roof and the loser had to jump. Man, it looked to me like you battling for your life. You looking more and more like Pookie every month. But see, I, I know you, Lux. And I listen to the sermons different. Oh, I know about all your surgeon visits. And according to Harlem Hospital, us ain't the only nigga out here that was burning bitches. You got murdered, nigga. Not with a calico, but the clip had hollows in it. I said murder, mook, calico, Charlie Clips, hollow, isn't it ironic and kinda iconic that at this time and minute, if you define and get it, you'll see that an arsenal contain all of those contents in it. You define <laughs> it, 
You disguised your image. You manipulated the five percentage. Started using a wash through powder your face up. Trying to hide a blemish. You a conscience brother, but your conscience isn't. You'll meet with a shotgun at the line of scrimmage if you don't mind your business. Tretch told me your mother was some skinny bitch who used to be sucking Vinny dick behind the benches. Knowing that your father wasn't your father, but she still had him at them doctor visits. She all kind of vicious. Every nigga in the hood been in her. She a Honda Civic. Calling my phone for a fix at 5 a.m. Using all them Obama minutes. And you following in the footsteps of daddy copying what he does. Your daddy looking at his son seeing a reflection of what he was. So what I See, you young niggas always try to give us old school niggas a bad name. But right now, I'm about to paint you a bit vivid picture and I need you to focus. You young niggas give us OGs a bad name because we constantly try to get y'all the game. Y'all say we talk the most, but we've all done work. And if you look at the rising population in jails throughout the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, it's your generation to get caught the most. Now, it's your generation to get caught the most. I need y'all to listen to the sound of my voice. Take y'all damn time. Break down and analyze everything I'm about to say to this nigga. Tell me if I'm lying. These new millennium thugs take pictures of guns and dope and put them on Instagram. Right after doing all this damn crime, that's why y'all produce the biggest generation of snitches we've witnessed in the history of mankind. Now nigga, you need to take heed to the jewels that the OGs be dropping on you young niggas. Because without that, y'all dead, nigga. Take heed to the niggas that's done what you've done, seen what you've seen, and they still here to tell about it. You be in your rhymes like, what it did it do? But be getting hammed up in the hood like big homie. What did I do? That's why I ain't approach you. That's why I ain't approach you like it's a boss that's in the room. Cause I was taught that the loudest one is usually the softest in the room. But man to man, I don't think you soft, but I think you young and dumb and do anything just to prove the shit. Your name is Jay Murder, and you'll do anything just to please the shit, nigga. I saw your moves, and I'll be alive. I said some of that shit didn't rattle me, especially when I seen you pull that fuckboy shit on Coliseum Battle League. Let me talk to you, nigga. Know when you out of town battling, nine times out of ten, the niggas that's out of town, they gon' hate. Long as they ain't crowding your personal space, the play call should be thinking like baseball. Cause after your third, the mission is to make it home mm -hmm. safe. But you wanted to play. But you wanted to play the tough role. This round is gonna be higher learning for you. You was out of town. Shit, now one of them niggas knew you had that burn on you. But you thought that they thought that you was gutter. And they knew that you was gonna shoot first. But all you did was reveal your hand. And let them know that when that drummer popped, you the nigga that they gotta shoot first. You was, you was slipping, my nigga. And I need you to be mindful. But the biggest meltdown was that interaction you had with the nigga that was standing behind you. You was cooking versus Reaper Rail, my nigga. You was cooking, spitting hot stuff, nigga. You had the crowd in the palm of your hand. You could have won that battle with your feet propped up. You passed the burner to your nigga. And that's when I hopped up. Like, you don't even know if this man on probation or got a motherfucking open case. You could have got your nigga locked up. <laughs> but I feel bad for you. You was the real victim in this shit. You was the real victim in this shit. The real nigga who was slipping was that nigga you was with. I saw a lot of things in that Reaper Rail battle, my nigga. Like you rolled with a bunch of scared clowns. Because when you passed your man the burner, he got it and put his head down. <laughs> time to go home, Jay Murder. I think it's time for you to leave the streets. You passing ratchets to niggas and they putting their head down. How the fuck is he supposed to see who creep? With my niggas, I'll never get a chance to fleece the heat because when it's drama, them niggas gonna start bombing before they see me reach. Dollar sign, nigga. Let's go. I wanna be serious with y'all for a second. Schiller's wife. Got a wedding band, uh -huh. but she interpret that ring wrong and buzz my bell when she's searching for ding dong. Open up. She either in a bikini top or naked with her butt out. It's time for you to leave the conversation. So your missus can whisper fantasies in my ear about her lack of a gag reflex, how she makes spatulas disappear. So I, so I told love, let's throw fuck. You could handle it, don't be scared. Then made her choke up so much, she should get champion of the year. So I, so I gave her the belt. Translation of champs changing. Fuck the handshaking, ass kissing, and campaigning. Sometimes you gotta talk to these bitches. I'm mansplaining it when y'all... When y'all make the list of who the greatest is, make sure he makes the list. Facts. When y'all make the list of who the greatest is, make sure he makes the list. Y'all heard his style. Y'all know who the greatest is at making lists. If he made the... Bro, if Chilla made the list of which kids were naughty and which were nice, Santa wouldn't check it twice. He just know that shit was right. 
Yo, God's gift to steaming. Are you serious, Jones? That style I killed math with 10 years ago? Remember back in high school when I smashed his chickadee to cut? We used to cut class to visit me. Had the chemistry attracted physically. Taught a sex ed and wood shop. Now, if we tie in this tug of war clash or not, you learn the ropes from the lessons that this slacker taught. My ROM book is the genesis of every page your pen writes. This snake even got his knowledge from the Big Apple by taking a bite. You know Genesis. Loso, the Lord took Adam's rib and created his wife. Stealing a piece of that body of mine's what gave this bitch life. You, diso you disobeyed my advice, stole from the God, and you paying the price for duplicating the A1. That was your plan B. You had to copy text for the respect you command C. You know, copy text is command C. Wait, 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 wait. Does that not computer use can't read? I'm saying he ain't an original type writer, and that's key. If you ask me, if you ask me how he crafts his poorly thought out themes, he'll take my blueprints and use them to draft his drawn out schemes. But with this clown, the shit sounds like a slinky cause even his best rounds get stretched out till it take the whole story a step down. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Y'all see the stair bars I'm railing on him with? Yeah. I'm on a rise, your flight landing. There's different levels to this shit. You studied, you studied under my understudied. I'm your sensei sensei. Shady, Hova, Jackson, Jordan, that's MJ, MJ, and MJ. God tier, like when Christ wept, you're seeing Jesus's pain. I'm God tier, like what you tell your daughter, the reason it rains. I'm God tier, like me, sacrificing my only son. You can't redo what the Yoda done, it's Padawan versus Obi-Wan, the student versus the tutor, the hopeful heir versus the ruler, Chilla, you truly are Martin Luther, Kingpin, Jr. Man, look at you. Bro, you was rapping your little heart out. Hey, let me give you some advice. You gotta concentrate when you rap. Like all that rah rah only tells me you use aggressiveness to try to compensate where you lack, and that's the pen. See, you can't do what I do. Cause when you rap with Cadence, it has zero energy. Name a rapper sick as me who's been raised with patience like chemotherapy. But nah, cause what I do in the ring, a jeweler can listen and I educate. Why would I care about all the moves you make? I'm fixing to immigrate. Inside they adjusting like a highway construction. I'm here fixing your interstate. But nah, Joel, I can't front. Every time they put you on a call, you spice things up. And you get the rhyming with the moves. But on this occasion, you not the hottest in the room. Cause I am number one. The greats don't care about who's a gangster. Start believing a lesson and trust me, it's nothing new. Cause in New York, a G to a legend will only mean that you always number two. See, it's your fault. You accepted, listen, you accepted the battle without first, you accepted the battle without first seeing me arrive. It's all on tape. Who knew you could set murder up without giving 13 reasons why? It's that easy. Zero substance in your lies and give nothing from within. Every time your battle's dropping, it's shadow boxing. I see you keep punching for the win. Except for that little scuffle with old Red in the trap. Remember you was gonna act like you fight? Disrespected yourself, the crew, and the league. Couldn't even act like a man for the night. But for what? Mm -hmm. All because he grabbed your shirt? Come on, y'all can laugh if you like. Murder over a T? What you got, the passion of Christ? I won't even act like you nice. But you know how irrelevant you gotta be for nobody to wanna book you in old red? Y'all could've let it go in a rap bout. I understand RBE because y'all didn't carry the hype. But what about the stereotype? You couldn't even get old in the trap house? See, that's what you lack now. It's called perseverance. You always give up and your buzz won't lift. They ask me about you and I say, oh, Jay Murder quit it like the glove don't fit. Cause, cause you choked bad against Mr. Mills. 36 seconds into the battle, didn't even know what to say at first. Then said it was cause he was hot. Took his sweater off, dude tried to even blame his shirt. But see, even D see how you getting buried, your life in a flash murder. You can have a hundred lines of how you dumping knives, the gun in line, but tonight it's Columbine. I'm out your class murder. See if they ask murder, you should tell them I killed every single one of y'all by taking y'all to church. They viewing a mass murder. See, uh, hey, did you see my last battle with funeral? That should have told you I was past murder, but in my past murder, uh, this the reason why I keep forgetting this is Writer's Volume 1. And I know my vocabulary stunned y'all, 
But all of a sudden, I got this weird behind urge to play his back behind game called Imaginary. Wait, game. wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> For reasons to say we don't know the sun. That's fine, my good brother. I'm still looking for a verse to say a Christian can't own a gun. And that's a oh, no, Listen man. up! Listen up! That's a rhetorical statement. I saw one that's amazing, and I finally got one. Now you need protection. UV protection. I'm on your block, son, with the scope on top. Oh, hey. Hey. hey, with the scope on top, so I can squeeze aimlessly. I started at your feet, then rose to the calves like free agency. Hey, hey but I can't front. This my first time shooting. I started fumbling the Glock. Then all of a sudden, I forgot to let it sing like Bieber and Timberlake. What that mean? I'm adjusting to the shot. Oh, wait. But all of a sudden, the adrenaline came after. He yeah. fell on his face. What a hell of a great actor. No selling the gauge, forever remain faster. So I flipped murder with a drum like I'm spelling his name backwards. Yeah. I know, I know. Christian rappers shouldn't have gun balls. Hey, I hear all that. I just wanted to show the whole world how I feel every time I hear y'all rap. Now y'all rap. Nina versus Vixen is back. This is something y'all been wanting to see, cause low key, for years, this little bitch been gunning for me. Now that's worth the me and everything I love. Tonight, it's about to be some shit, cause you came all the way from, nigga, fuck all that irrelevant shit. Point blank, you about to get your ass whipped. Listen, bitch, I'm not the type you wanna get in a bad mood or be a movie. With more trays getting served at your door than Uncle Pete from Soul Food, I've been the truth. So tell me, you came here to do what the who? Deuce, deuce, cupped in the boot. Mm -hmm. And you could be the first bitch to get lit with this 22. That's Cheryl Swoops. I told Peter Dawn. Yeah. It's nothing. Just send me a bitch to shoot too, because anything less would be a no-go. This nigga sends me you. But this won't be the first time we see a white bitch pull up to get banged on since Rebecca Lobo. You told Barney. Yeah. You told Barney that she ain't belong in the streets like house shoes. And that was cool. But see, you can't convince me you be out here pulling triggers when we all know light-skinned bitches don't put work in the field. You fucking house nigga, speaking of nigga. <laughs> speaking of nigga, she mentioned mine and Nina aiming right where Victoria's spouse is. Then she can get a hollow tip right to her roof like Victorian houses. But you gonna beat me? <laughs> but you gonna beat me? See, that shit I highly doubted. When I pack enough heat, guaranteed the boiler room. Then light up her unit quicker than New York City's public house. And bitch, you damn right I'm on a thousand. Cause you claim delivery is what saves me. Well every battle, I'll be that certified midwife that'll always come through and deliver, baby. You can never play me. When all you rap about is pussy pregnancies and abortions, it's funny. Your name Vicks, but ain't got the fix to suppress this corp and bitch must be snorting. Fifteen battles in and all you known for is for fucking knobs. Don't ever downplay my talent when you scoop that low to get people to know the shores. But I ain't really wanna take it there. And I ain't really wanna take it there. But I'm built like that, so if you're feeling some type of way, please feel free to address the issue. Just keep in mind, you let a round of yours spin out of control, and I'll sit you down with the metal in hand faster than Yoshimitsu. Bitch, I've been official. And you were so pressed for me, throwing shot after shot when you should've just left me unbothered. Cause the way I grew up, fuck I look like being scared of some pops. Bitch, I ain't have no father, but you got yours. But you got yours. And that saying children are supposed to outlive their parents in life? Well shit, it seems fair, and his old ass, Probably about this close to heaven's gates. But you keep playing with me, bitch, and I'ma make sure your ass beat him there. Just so we clear, Aww. it's fuck whoever that's in this room that's rocking with Victoria Stevens. I'll split a shit, lift the lid, exposing all of Victoria's secrets. I mean you decent. I mean you decent. Barely a struck match, but let you tell it, you some hot fire, and I was due to retire. But for what? I figured fuck you up just for trying me, and I would've spent my first round pulling V-Card if she ain't lose that shit at 13. Now, now all that aggression ain't impressive. I'm daring this bitch get, to give me a reason. Y'all know the slogan. You can't throw salt on a bitch that's already seen. Let's go. Let's go. I said, if X raised the vision, we gonna see inside him clear. Bro, we respect your message. As far as skill, you're not as fed. Plus, them stories you got to share that have them brought to tears. But how your DNA tried to get you the fuck out of here, they often, they often cheer, but you know what I thought was weird? They often cheer, but you know what I thought was weird? Cause he's sick, y'all yeah, let him spill his guts when he's not prepared. You bank on that to save you, bro. Well, I account for it. I brought my gift for what you built. It's like a housewarming. You fought cancer? Well, this bout shouldn't be difficult. Won't be the first time you dealt with a cell killing you sick. Sick. I can assist in removing your
pride so act malignant the cause of your tumor be nine demanding rights. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Demanding rights, we stand and fight for laws, but we got the stocking under arm. I'm on curry, warrior mind state. So if the cops let shots flurry, I need you to organize a hit. Don't march for me, cause all them protests, cause all them protests, and still the point don't get across. So for me, fuck a picket sign. Pick them off, I put pain in. They root for your pain. Cause you planted that seed that makes them grow with you. Even I subscribe. Then I thought like, why? I got my own issues. Now I won't, now I won't knock, I won't knock your political moves. Cause that shit is great, but kid, you ain't the first one to look deaf in the face. See, I was born sick as a kid. My heart was not the best, so before I could speak, I had people probing inside my chest. I get better, then I regress. They told moms that type of stress would do me in. By 10, she'd be laying her child to rest, and that's why I'm not moved by the shit I hear from them. Nigga, you seen the reaper face? I took 21 years from him. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Talk, nigga. Mailman, go mouth, you already know what it is, nigga.